All right, guys, welcome back. Now, nah, sorry for the uh, the interruption in last episode. The uh, server shut down uh, about halfway through our stream last time, so uh, I didn't want to wait. But here we are, guys. We're back with some more of the front. Uh, so far, this has been uh, quite the adventure. There's a bunny right here I can't resist, and I missed. Oh, we got it. Please. Here we go. Hit. There it is. Um, we're off right now trying to get some hunting in. But yeah, the server uh, restarted, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but we're back now, and uh, yeah, let, let's get back into it. I know it's a little late, later than I usually go, but... I was excited to get back into this because I felt like it was uh, it was cut short. So we got to get some more wood armor crafted up. Then we'll have a full set. Uh, but I wanted to go over here and grab a couple more rabbits because I needed to try to farm up some hide uh, for some crafting recipes. And this area has a bunch of rabbits. And the rabbits actually have quite low health uh, compared to the other animals in the game. So... Good hit. There we go. Level 10, baby. Uh, so I believe it's level 16 is what we need to get up to in order to uh, unlock our first bit of vehicleage. Hey, nice, someone's kind of stuck. Farm that high, baby. So we're good there. So we're up to about 50 hide. Oh, we got a decent bit of meat. Uh, as you guys can see, though, the meat is rotting relatively quick. Uh, we need some kind of storage option. I don't want. I don't want to like over hunt. And then we just have a bunch of meat that goes bad. So we're hitting the dead rabbit because it's kind of like, um, most of the games are like this, you know, seven days to die where you actually gotta like keep hitting it and you farm resources off it per hit. It's kind of what's happening right now. Now we did have a loot reset or, uh, or a server reset. So I'm wondering if the loot locations have respawned goodies. Uh, Nicholas asks, uh, good evening, can you talk a little bit about this game? What would you compare it to? Um, so I say it like the best way to compare this game is I would say so far it feels like a combination of like a rust um, and like an arc minus the dinosaurs. Oh, what the hell is that? Looks like a UFO. I don't know, man. That's crazy. Uh, but it's PvP or PvE. I'm, I chose to play on a PvE server. Um, just so we could learn the game. Oh, look at this. So there's a blue one there, and then there's a red one way off in the distance. But as you guys know, to get on this inside part of the map, yo, it's it's high-level stuff. Like, I couldn't even imagine how tough you got to be to, like, get to, like, these POIs. Uh, but you start off in the Stone Age, legit, like, you know, rock spears and stuff like that, and bow and arrows, and then you gotta make your way up, seems like, through technology. I don't know how advanced the technology gets, um, but we'll have, we'll find out. I got my own little base set up down here. So there's a mine over here that has, uh... Some NPCs in it. Very good shot. 
I don't know if that's... I don't know what that is. I mean, it kind of looks like a UFO to me, doesn't it? Uh, is the map like Valheim with stronger mobs in certain areas? That's what it seems like so far, uh, Nicholas. Like, there's this... Um, like, look at that dude right there. He's level 30 with 2,800 health. Like, get out of here, man. I just fought a rabbit that had 69... Literally, that's it. Just 69 health. So we got to get our armor game up. Get our weapons better. Wasn't this... Uh, Matt lived over here somewhere. I don't think this was it. Nice, got some sugar cane. So early game food, um, like hitting the bushes right here, like not only does it give you stick and fiber, uh, but you can get berries from it, uh, which are pretty good for uh, like base hydration and stuff like that. Like in Ark, the berries, to, especially to eat them, they're not really all that great. Uh, these berries aren't that bad though. They're actually quite useful. I would use them more for hydration than food, um, but they work. They work well for both. Well enough, I guess. Ouch. My base is right on the other side of this base, I believe. Or no. My base is over there on that side. Yeah, I forgot. I crossed the water. It's where the flag is. I didn't see any water aquatic life, which is always good. Guys, I'm wondering if this river might be a, sh a way to bypass that wall, man. I didn't even think about that. We might have to go check that out. Let me get the rest of my armor situated and maybe we can follow that river to the other side of the of the wall, guys. The only problem is uh, if there is some really, really high level stuff over there, we're going to be SOL. Cause I can't even clear out like the early game POIs on this side of the map. So, right here. So, welcome to my humble abode. As you guys can see, it's coming along. Go ahead and place this. Boom. Need two shoot. So three and then one more of those. So we'll do one more two by two wall. And then three of the regular walls. So I wonder if you just use these if we could just use the, the floors for ceilings or if we should actually go ahead and use the the roof here the wood roof into a piece of roofing here All right, so we are going to have to get some more chest built. Do up one more chest. So we'll do two. Ready to change the PvP? I don't know, man. We might check PvP out, though, before the end of the stream. Uh, just to give you guys a taste of what it looks like. 
Uh, but you guys know how PvP are in these games. Oh, man, it's horrifying. In a good way. I mean, some people just, that's what you'd live for it. You know what I mean? But, you know, base raids and all that stuff. Like, people literally live for that shit. Me, you know, I like to I like to take my time and slow build. I wonder if you could stack chest. No, okay. And go place the rest of these walls. Boom and boom and one more piece there. I think it came out great, guys. All right, so let's uh get a couple pieces of wood in here. Get the meat in there. Activate. Craft all of those. Now, I think you might be able to... Use, I'm not going to throw away the rotten stuff because I'm pretty sure you could probably use it for something. Uh, maybe farming, stuff like that. It's always it, it, There's always a use for, for everything for the most part. You know how it is. Okay, so I gotta get some more tape made here. So we got some tape going. Make a second floor? I think so. Yeah. This was either a second floor or... I mean, we got enough space. I guess we could do like stairs here. Uh, but we gotta go out and really farm up some more wood because I'm Pretty, I'm, I think I'm out. You lost your novice protection. Your journey will be more dangerous from here on out. Stay. Oh, shit. Okay. Yo, look how awesome we looked on that wood armor, though, Chad. That shit actually looks pretty. It reminds me of, like, a Minecraft with a square. All right. Let me uh, test this roof piece here. So that's like angle, do you know what I mean? That's for like some cool people stuff. All right. Um, right now, we're going to go out, farm up some wood really quick. Uh, unfortunately, max level in the beta is only it's 40 right now. Uh, so no helicopters and stuff. That, that's what I'm kind of interested to see is uh, how big the technology shift is, guys, because it seems pretty massive. Like, you go from, like, stone tools and, I mean, I don't know if they have, like, modern weapons, but uh, from what I read in the description, it literally sounds like it turns into, like, battlefield levels of, of helicopters, tanks, uh, full-blown, like, body armor and assault rifles. Like, I was like, what? There's no way, dude. Oh, there's guns. I've already, I've already personally unlocked a gun. It's a, um, it's like the first type of gun you can get in the game. It is right here. The, uh, yeah. So you guys can see. Oh shit, we already unlocked. The, so you can see, you can get a rifle there, min, mil, mil, uh, yeah, militiaman rifle, double barrel shotgun. We've unlocked this, the flintlock. Um. But as you guys can see, this is just early game stuff here. And you see you get optics, a fast mag, uh, ACOG looking thing, a hollow sight. And then the weapons go all the way down here. So I couldn't even imagine the type of guns and attachments and stuff you get. 
Because only right here, you're already looking at bolt action rifles and shotguns, grenades. This game has like an like the age progression of of like a civilization game almost which is phenomenal but in like a first person survival experience it's it's wicked Prepared. Oh, I don't have enough, uh, what, stone on me? Who are your primary opponents in this game? I, I'm not sure right now. So I've heard that there's monster, like, zombies. Um, obviously, you've seen, like, the bandits that are across the road. The There's, like, some hardcore military guys at the... Uh, at the checkpoints and I and that's just in the little green zone here so I can't imagine what's in the later parts of the game probably gets quite quite crazy all right so now I can make the rest of my armor yeah we need gloves and shoes so now we'll have our full set of wood armor. Gloves, shoes, and I don't know what this is here. It's either a backpack or like a, a vest. Can't tell. We could get the shock absorbers. Reduces stamina lost when jumping by 10%. It's a mod that can be placed on shoes. Try it out. Uh, base damage plus 10% right here. It's like a sh uh, sharpening, and you can add that to melee. We got the bolas. We'll craft up some more arrows, too. Okay, here we go. So crafting simple bandages. Okay, we unlocked the wood hammer. We got the efficient skinning. The space time beacon. We got wood barriers. Wall torches. Uh, looks like a medium storage chest. So we got a bigger storage chest. Uh, the fishing basket, which is nice because we live right next to the water. And a garden plot. So uh, food collection will get a little easier there. Simple pouch. Unlocks one inventory slot. Can be worn on top where... Okay, so it's a lot like... Um, Unlocking the additional inventory slots seems like it's a lot like seven days to die. Because if you guys look at how the inventory here, uh, you can put more mod slots on you and open up more inventory. Uh, so that's grilled fish, grinding table, bandages, rope and tape. Yeah, I need to do up some more rope. Anthony, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Adventure, so yeah, we did start a stream of this earlier, but I got, um... We had a server restart, and it was, took an hour, and I didn't want to sit on stream for an hour. Uh... So, uh... 
Yeah, I, I just ended the stream and then fired it back up as soon as the game was available again. So we just gotta wait for this rope to be... Actually, can I, like, change it? No, we just gotta wait for that to be done. Yeah, so we're gonna do one of those fishing baskets right down here. Get some garden plots down here. I don't know if I need foundation, so that's what we're gonna have to figure out. Let's drink. So nice living next to a water source, guys. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go ahead and get some bandages in the queue. All right, so we got bandages coming. Um, we're gonna go chop a little bit more wood. This game is, uh, uh, right now, it's online only in the beta. I don't know if when the game drops, if it'll be like, it'll also have like a single player thing where you can kind of just look. It could easily do single player. And I, I think it'd be even more interesting for players compared to like an arc because there is so many like NPC locations and POIs. Um, I think this would easily support uh, like a single player world and keep you nice and entertained. Uh, but as of right now, in this beta test, uh, it's multiplayer only. Hi, for Hey, Sons of the Forest, man. Yeah, so when I start that game, man, I am not aggressive whatsoever against the, uh, the cannibals and stuff. I kind of just mind my own business because if you stay away from them in the early game, they'll kind of leave you alone. Uh, but the second you start that beef, bro, it, it, it's hard to come back from. You just gotta try to move somewhere where you're not right on top of them. And, uh, you know, food, water, shelter, get your, your base set up. And uh, get some walls quick. this right here iron nice oh, we're gonna get some forges built up we'll start smelting iron uh gerardo you might want to check your uh settings dude because nobody else is saying my mic is off Obviously, he didn't hear me say that. <laughs> if my sound wasn't working. Oh, you're all good now. All right, cool. George, what's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, there's actually a fair bit of iron around. Picked a good spot, guys. We picked a good spot. Granted, we do have a military checkpoint literally right up the road from where we are right now, but... Who's the, who's the judge, you know what I mean?
This is just stone. Actually, you know what? Let's grab some stone. We're probably going to need it for uh, the forges. So we got a decent bit of iron, stone, and stuff. Uh, we'll go look at getting our. These all, all these guys got some big stuff built. I mean, my base is not bad. I guess we can't have a whole ton of base envy because oh, we're looking good over here. You know what? Let's take a. We'll check out this guy's base over here. He looks pretty advanced. Let's see what he has. Simple. So that's a probably an early ass game vehicle. This man's got rain collectors are or dew collectors. A pyrolyzer. Have no clue what the hell that is. So a research table there. Let's tell him what's this man's already got a car. Oh wait, get in. Okay, it won't let me. <laughs> but we don't know what's inside his base. He could, and, and he even did a triangle roof, which, you know, most people like me, we just do the flat roofs. Yeah, in the beta, guys, if you go to your mail, you look at this, um, they do give you access to, like, a lot of stuff. Um, like, a lot of stuff. Show you guys here. So, they just gave me, like, a, for instance, a bunch of tools, uh, axes. I think it's just so you iron spear okay so this can go on boots but i don't know how to actually attach oh okay so you click on it look and then boom so that means for my quiver i probably click on yep and then you so, nope, so the quiver doesn't go on the body. Where does it go? Weapon, maybe? Oh, it's for reload speed. Yep, okay, so quiver goes on there. I hear somebody shooting a gun. You heard it? So I got this little off-road vehicle here. Problem is the gas. Figured it's a beta, might as well show you guys what the vehicles are like, right? 
Let me see. I had gas here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's got no gas in it. Okay. Vehicle gas can, boom. Uh, vehicle storage crate. Oh, so that's dope. So you can add storage crates to your vehicle to make it have storage. So I gave us about a half a tank. It's not that fast up up the hill. So this is the early game vehicle, guys. It's not super fast. It's obviously but faster than walking. Uh, you can put storage and stuff in it. It's decent on fuel though. The fuel, I didn't know how much that half a tank was gonna get me. Uh, George asks, when is Sekiro? I'm not exactly sure, man. That one's kind of up in the air. It just kind of depends on how uh, the next few months go. The fuel mileage is pretty decent. Let's get this bad boy back to base. Yeah, that's why I wasn't trying to drive too far until I could figure out a gas situation, which... Uh, yeah, there's no telling when I'm even going to be able to produce fuel. I just kind of want to take it out for a little test drive to see how... Oh, shit. So, at least we know those guys at the mine there, they have guns. run him over. I didn't want to risk the car getting blown up. I'm probably going to take shots from these military guys too.
So that little bit of fuel that we did have in the car uh, lasted a good bit. Definitely lasted a good bit. All right, we got to figure out the roof situation here. So we're going to eat. Store this. Okay, awesome. So, yes, we could use these as roofs. Okay, so now I just got to do the regular sized ones. I think we needed four. We'll get some wall torches up too. This is going to get dark in here. Might not seem like much, guys, but it's nice. Not getting rained on anymore. We got a little bonfire going. We got some storage chests going. Uh, so now let's start working on these furnaces. So that's what we're going to need to start progressing. Structural. Oh, the furnace, I think, is done on the workbench here. Yep. So we need 30 stone and uh, a couple fire. So I'm gonna, or fiber. I'm going to do... Most games like this, you want to multi, uh, generally you want to multi-build. Am I right? Nobody wants just one. One furnace. I'll do... Do four. Well, we'll do three. Uh, Nicholas, thank you, thank you for the re-up on the membership, man. What are my thoughts so far, Mr. Adventure? It's pretty dope, man. Like I said, it's got a feel of a lot of games that we're quite familiar with. You know, things like Ark, like Rust. Um, it, it, it has that same, like, kind of vibe. Uh, but it's unique in its own way, too. Like I said, uh, the, uh, a lot of people talk about Conan. I haven't played that one yet. Um, but the one thing I can say about this one compared to, like, Ark is there's a lot more PvE in this. A lot more things you can do uh, with the NPCs and stuff like that, which I, I really like. We got three furnaces done. I 
Got some iron ore here. Iron ore. So they have drinks and stuff that's like this right here. The Bloody Mary restores 45 hydration, but it also increases ore collection by 10% for 15 minutes. Stacks up to 30 minutes. So you can drink two of these and increase your ore collection. So if you're, and then this one is uh, increased wood collection. So the sweet wine. So I'm, I'm pretty sure those are probably craftable. So you can craft like resource gathering buffs. Uh, for these, thank you, thank you. For the membership, welcome to the family. So this game is on Steam. It's not out yet, um, but you can go on Steam right now and opt into the beta, um, and you could play it just like I am right now. Test it, and then uh, it, yeah, it, it, the the release date is still to to be determined. All right, so let's go ahead and split this up. Okay, so we'll do 29. Wow, that's that's a decent bit of iron. Uh, actually, let's split this in half. Okay, so we'll get that crafting up. It says we only got six minutes worth of wood in it, though. Then I'll do the other half in here. All right, so we got iron crafting up. This flintlock pistol requires a little bit of iron, a little bit of wood. We need carbon powder and inorganic salt in order to make the ammo and i believe i actually have yeah we got inorganic salt this can be crea crafted into more of that salt uh at a bench and then Maybe I don't have any of that carbon stuff. Oh, is it in here? Yeah, carbon powder. Okay. So we do got some carbon powder there. And I think we'll get some from here too. Yep, perfect. So we get we get you get it as a byproduct of cooking or smelting. And then lead ingots for the bullets. Which I actually already have a handful of those. We'll chop some more trees real quick. We need we need a bit more wood. Wood armor seems pointless. What do you mean? Better than no armor. You know what I mean? That's. Cut trees way faster with this axe. Yeah, hi four. Um, outside of those games you named, I I'm still pretty new in the survival games. Like, uh, I played like Stranded Deep, which is a good one if you're into like island survival, surviving out on the water. That one's pretty rough. Uh, Green Hell is another one that's quite rough. Um, that's like some 
pure jungle survival. Uh, greenhouse brutal. Chopping. to see what that spaceship thing is over there honestly I might stroll over there it's in the green zone so I think once we get a gun with some ammo we'll uh we'll, we'll take a little journey over there I don't think I could drive though because of the uh I won't be able to cross the water here with my car so we're gonna have to walk well looks like there might be a little path down here we could take but it looks like it's blocked off Lead going now. That guy's the iron. It's got two more. more lead cooking up I like that you can like store stuff in the uh, in the tables just kind of like arc where you can store all your resources in the tables and then it allows you to kind of just do all your crafting that you need to do so for instance boom we'll craft a flintlock Then we'll craft. Well, let's wait for this little bit of lead here. Stop those so we're not wasting any fuel. And then we'll go ahead, drop that in there. Take our flintlock pistol. Beautiful. Hell yes. It's not it's not the greatest, guys, but it's a gun. Alright, you gotta start somewhere, right? And then we do these lead pellets. Okay, so you get five bullets per craft. That's that's so clutch. So we got 25 shots. Let's see how bad the reload is. Oof. That guy sound Sounds like they're letting it off over here with some normal ass guns, man.
what is that? Oh, is that a player's base getting attacked? try to go loot this giant POI but wanted to scope out this freaking spaceship thing first I'm not feeling real safe with this this pistol guys I don't feel like it's enough Crude oil and sand from this. Somebody's bonfires. I'm getting a bunch of quests. Lunas, I'm liking it. It's, it's dope, man. Got another POI here. It's like a barn. Looks like there's somebody there, too. Looks like there's, like, villagers and shit. They're all probably hostile as hell. We wanted to see what the hell this is. So some tractors over there. Future supplies, search level 22. So you gotta be level 22 to hit these. It's like a loot crate. We we'll pop our head into this village here just to scout what level the enemies are. Level 19, 700 health. Yeah, that's not the standard. A little faster than that, bro. Please. 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 Ah! 
spear actually did work. Okay, so we got stone floor, an apple, some... Okay, so the gun actually hits quite hard. It's the reload time that is the, the susest part of this whole situation. Like a Minecraft village, go and you steal all their wheat and carrots. seen one more enemy up this way that I wanted to take care of. Lady, not like this. Is she not going to fight me? Hey. Are you peaceful? Don't do it. Okay, she's not. She's not peaceful, chat. Okay, so they gotta stop to swing. Boom. And you can just keep backing up. And they can't hit you. So, oh. So as long as it's the melee people. That time she hit me though. Come on, reload faster, dude. in his ass this gun is ter oh fuck. look how many there are guys well at least it's all melee enemies so the melee enemies aren't that bad so I guess we gotta enjoy these melee enemies while we still while we got them yo there's so many though You suck. Reload faster. Should have put that reload. Spear actually seems like it hits. Try melee versus... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can just melee these dudes. Use the gun to aggro him. Oh. This wood arm is pretty pretty good, guys.
Uh, you know you can tame them? No, I did not know you could tame them. How do you tame them? Like, like an arc with bolus? <laughs> the BT. This guy doesn't even got a weapon. Sorry, dude. Oh, he's fucking me up, though. Got a freaking grenade. Again. Oh, nice. Got it. Shit. Oh. Oh. These dudes never stop spawning. What if the knife is... Doesn't have the same reach though as the spear, that's the only downside to it. Looks like we're going out hitting a POI pretty early on, right? Get this reloaded. Michael, thank you for the 14 months, brother. I appreciate it. this game. Does a pause? Uh, thanks for the content, man. As always, uh, I watched a few other Starfield streams and none compared to yours. Thanks again. I really appreciate that, bro. That's some high praise right there, man. There's a lot of great guys out there playing that game right now, man. I've been trying hard to keep it nice and interesting for you guys, so I hope I hope the playthroughs you know got going stale. I started trying to do some story stuff today, dude. To, Spice things up a little bit. Let's see, are these? 
Oh, so these are like blueprints, like art, guys. So if you don't have the recipe learned, you, I'm pretty sure you could craft it off of this. And that's my take on that, at least. Uh, but again, Michael, thank you so much. So the gun is decent, guys. It hits hard. It's the reload time, though. It's just not that great. So we got quite a few peeps down here that we would have to clear through. Oh, what is that? Oh, we just got the double barrel shotgun blueprint. Off that enemy. Is that? Huh. Oh, wow, this guy's got some mega health, the jumper. Chance we bit off a little more than we could chew here. Damn it. All that fucking time reloading just a miss. <clears throat> Oh. 
Damn, we just got an epic steel crossbow blueprint. I don't know if that's good, but it sounds good to me. I wonder if it's tiered, like, 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 uh, like Ark. You know how you can get the different levels of blueprint? That was a fucking epic crossbow blueprint. Shit, that was my last. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Inventory's almost full. I'm out of bullets. So when that chain pops up, that means they could be tamed. I'll take it. Even though I don't know how to tame. No. Pretty sure you need some kind of item to tame these people. Iron Axe, Sand, Molotov, Tex. Inventory's looking pretty full. If I find anything really good, I'll drop something, but... I'm happy I cleared that damn POI. Uh, with a throwable taser... You open this with technology quite soon. You feed it to them and feed them while taming. Uh, so it's legit like Ark. That, that's cool. Go from taming dinosaurs, guys, to taming people. back there.
Makes me curious, guys. If I, if I was able to clear out this POI, maybe I can make it through the military checkpoint, right? That's the evolution of survival games. Tame animals, now tame human. <laughs> it just keeps getting better, dude. Oh, uh, Anderson, how you doing today, brother? It's good to see you, though, man. Really, bro? This was... This guy... This was the guy that when we came up here was shooting. He literally built this while we were fighting. Now I've seen you firing up some uh, some pretty awesome games over on the channel, man. It's good to see, dude. We got this dock POI down here too that we gotta hit at some point. Oh, uh, right now I'm on PVE. Yeah, we didn't we haven't jumped into PvP. Back to Roman, dude. What are those element shards are going to be used for? This is a huge area to come loot, man. A lot of uh, humans here, though. You can see they're just patrolling around. Yeah, docks are swarming with them. control I kind of wanted to peek through that crevice there it goes down and follows the river because uh, there's a military checkpoint up here that you can't really get past if you want to try to go into the other part of the map I showed this on the first episode uh, if you guys look closely here, there's a really, really, really huge cliff wall that um, is the whole distance of the map. And at any point there is an opening, you can see there's these military checkpoints uh, that are stopping you from getting to this side of the map. So right now we can only play in this area here. I mean, you can go over there, but you got to go through the checkpoints, like I said. And this all right here is uh, all we can access. But yeah, so I'm like, I don't even know what's in here. Probably some just great, great loot. Uh, how does it feel? Mo Anthony, it feels good, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, 
It's, it's got an interesting take on, uh, you know, like those arc style games. Like I said, I think what does it for me is the uh, real strong emphasis on PvE here. But this loot is freaking amazing. We got the crossbow. Oh, actually, let me see if I can build another chest. Do a couple more chests. And I want to thank you guys. We got almost 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. I did unlock the ability to craft bigger crates, I believe. Or, I need to study it. We learned rubber there. Structures. Yeah, we learned bigger crates. I think we craft them on... Here, right? Maybe not. We will execute a network switch five and what? Short term lag during the process. Oh. Yeah, right now they're uh this is a beta test. So this is their like first live thing with players and you know it's probably like a stress test or they're, they're trying to figure things out and smooth out any hiccups. It's almost empty. Let's go down and grab some. this up i did get crude oil don't really know what the hell you do with it yet but we got some oh, we got the tomatoes there i'll eat one of these all right so we're gonna go trace this water edge here i want to see what's on the other side really quick well i think uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think the spoil timer, I don't know if it's for the whole stack or if it, well, like after that that timer one in the stack goes bad and then the timer starts again. So I think it's one every time. So realistically, you're not losing a whole lot of food once it's cooked, as long as it's in a stack. If that's how it works, I, like I said, I can't guarantee that's how it works. Yeah, I think this might be the way through the wall, guys. Legit. This is your way through. Damn, there's players on this side of the wall already. Look at that. We couldn't figure out how to get over here without cutting through the military base. But yeah, on the underneath part of this river, there's a freaking passage through. We have a fat base over here. And hey, look how flat it is too.
what this is. Gold. Copper. Yeah, it's nice over here. Look, there's like no competition for for space. I mean, it seems like everybody that did move over here is quite spread out. And everybody that did move over here, their bases are huge, man. That's where all the pros came. Level 59 to get into that bad boy. I wonder how good the loot is in them, though. Decent resources over here too. Iron, copper. A lot of wood. And you know what's crazy, guys? This is where I wanted to move when we initially picked. Uh, I just couldn't figure out how to get on the side of the wall. they were trying to spell there. I was trying to like figure out what it did say at one point. Sorry, we're we are closed. I would try to guess what that said. Sorry, we are closed. Maybe. I don't know. I'm an idiot chat, so <laughs> Uh, is this an Unreal Engine 5 game? I don't know if it's Unreal Engine 5. I know it is Unreal Engine, though. Because um, when you boot up the game, it's Unreal Engine. We got mechanical parts out of that. You just won the daily double Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, for this sign? I don't think that's what it actually said, though. Right. More gas. I wonder if this game's like like Rust. You know how Rust has like the little when you you can go along the road edges and like they have all the, like the scrap loot and shit. You could. I wonder if all this respawns. You know, living on this side of the map would be so clutch.
go I'll run your dailies on the road here. That guy built over on an island. No, that's so good. Let's see, where are we? This looks like an airfield or like a military airfield or something. Probably some bomb loot down there. This is, it's so nice on this side, guys. Look how many freaking areas there are. Just come and loot. You get basic resources, clay, bunch of ore. Don't even have to go mining. Just freaking get it all by looting. You should play some Rust PV. Oh, man, I haven't played Rust in years. I don't know how different the game is compared to, like, last time. I, I mean, I played it back in, like... Maybe 2018, maybe 2017. I know when I would I know when I was playing oh shit um they had just added like some like scientists like or something like that I, I don't remember they added like scientists and then you needed like a gas mask or something to like go into like this area I don't I don't exactly remember what the hell it was, but that that's when I was playing. That's like right when I stopped. Uh, it was right around when that update came out. A lot of guys down there. Gun fiend? Sounds like something I don't want the smoke of. The rain does sound nice. It does have a nice sound to it. Yeah, you see all these question marks? These are all POIs. So I definitely... This area is really, really good to live in. Real quick, I want to show you guys um, while we're here. Those of you guys that don't really know what uh, is possible in this game, uh, give me one sec. I'll show you guys the uh, the the trailer. Um, uh, so now that I'm actually playing it, the trailer is probably gonna make a little more sense. Uh, but I remember when I first seen, it, I was like, "Yo, what is going on? This game seems like it's all over the place." But now it makes sense of how it, like progresses.
That's way more advanced than anything we have right now. But this is like how advanced you can get, guys. Just so you... Like, there's vehicles that you can create for harvesting. Kind of like Ark where you had harvesting dinos, but you can create vehicles for harvesting. Yo, that's a full blow M4. Yeah, so I think you do get your base attack. Somebody asked if uh, you get sieged. I would say yes. That's a fucking tank, dude. And a minigun. Imagine getting the squad together, Chet. Imagine getting the squad together. You see what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> All that. And this, this is where I'm at right now, guys. This is where I'm at right now. I got my stick. <laughs> oh, dude. I got my stick. And my flintlock. <laughs> nah, but the progression, like I said, it looks sick, man. Like, where you can end up. Obviously, you know, there's a huge grind. A lot of, a lot of grinding that you got to do to get to that point of what we've seen. But that shit looked absolutely epic as hell. But it seems like, you know, this game took a lot of the things that you would use like ARC for and they replaced it with vehicles. Um, so you have harvesting vehicles, then you have like your big, like you've seen the helicopters, tanks, all types of like vehicles and shit like that. And then the guns, man, oh man. There was all types of assault rifles and it looked like there was even like a Barrett 50 cal, mini guns, LMGs, all types of attachments and shit. It was crazy. Yeah, it, it's and that that was the thing is it, generally you see a lot of games that come out in this genre, you know what I mean? But a lot of them are, you know, Ark was pretty unique. Rust, um, I feel like they all have their own little unique thing. But then there's a lot of like copy paste, you know what I mean? Like they just kind of take the same. And you're just like, ah, oh, dude, you're not really innovating or doing anything original or new. Um, and even though like every idea comes from somewhere. I, I really do feel like this game did a pretty decent job uh, making it feel unique in its own way. Because there really isn't any games that are built in like this arc or rust out that go to like that huge battlefield looking scenario. That shit was crazy. I couldn't even imagine what this shit would be like on PvP. Absolute mayhem. <laughs> 
You start off naked with like stone weapons and you, yeah, you, you progress to that. Uh, we got iron weapons right now. Oh, shit. And I'm wearing, I got some bomb armor. You know, we're wearing that full wood armor right there. Like, you see that up there? I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't know why I got this damn pistol out like I could do something with it. I have zero bullets. I shot all my bullets when we did that last raid. Man, these guys pick some good spots to build. But like I said, I didn't know I could come over here. Um, I didn't know there was an actual way over. I thought we had to go through the checkpoint. So I kind of just settled for the other side of the wall. And I'll thank you guys again. We got over 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys coming and showing some love. You know, the devs reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to check out the game. And uh, I told them for sure. So I, I was like, yeah, I got a good community. And, you know, you guys always come and, you you know, you, you help me, you know, propel the community and make because the thing is i've been reached out lately by like a lot of uh developers and stuff to check out games and it's because of you guys you know what i mean like the games i do play you guys are actually going and checking out for yourselves and you know that just adds more power to the community so then when stuff in the future comes out you know we do have opportunities to to you know play it and uh we have a little bit of leverage so it, it's it's really really awesome that you guys are out here you know supporting me and helping support these uh new games and stuff like that it's always fun you know what i mean i think this is like one of the funnest parts of the like, content creation and like having a community like this is like exploring new and upcoming like indie games especially because there's some gems chat like really it's like some gems that just stuff that you guys put me on that i'm like I i've never heard of that game now play it and i'm like whoa what the hell is this like how did i go years without playing this you know, Ark was a big one that, you know, and now I'm another game I feel like that's going to be like that is Conan Exiles. A lot of you guys paint that as a pretty cool game. I feel like Conan is going to be like one of those games I'm going to play and be like, man, how did I go so long without playing this? That is deep. <laughs> that is deep. Conan is life. <laughs> Yeah, when this when this actually goes like live live because the bait is done in like a day or two guys so it's not like we can like really keep this playthrough going um but when when this game goes live live we might have to we might have to hop on a server as like a community get some tanks you know what i mean get some tanks Get a, if we got got a group of like 15 of us or something like that maybe even like yo we'd be we would be unstoppable
Get a couple of helos, get some pilots, get some freaking tanks. Deck ourselves out with some guns, guys. Yo, we we absolutely shred. Well, obviously, we'll be like more of like a a medieval army of ninjas at first until we work our way up to that point. <laughs> Wood armor for now. The black ops is our... I know. <laughs> you seen in the trailer, like the guys are like going up the stairs all tactical and stuff, wearing like legit military gear. And here I am, you know rocking my wood armor but i'm not gonna lie look guys like the wood armor like actually looks quite good like the model for it that shit is pretty detailed i, I like it a lot i mean the helmet's a little square but it still looks cool I'm kind of feeling the helmet though. It's like it's like it's like playing homage to uh to Minecraft with that helmet right there, you know what I mean? And if we go here and we check, all right, so we got. Yeah, see like weapon wise, we unlocked the iron tools, double barrel shotgun, ergonomic grip. So yeah, they got like it's 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 awesome because like I said, they got a bunch of different combinations of games here. So they got like the weapons attachments and stuff like that that you can add to like 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 it like you once you get in like seven days where you can you know put like blade mods and stuff like that on weapons to make them you know better. And right here, for instance, like you put this efficiency skinning mod on like a knife or something, you'll you know you get uh fifteen percent more efficiency. Uh, this right here, like the ergonomic grip reduces stamina loss when using tools by 20%. That's that's huge. You know, the quiver here, reload speed plus 10%. Um, you know, damage intensity. That's a, just a straight 10% damage increase. Uh, and I think you could put two mods on each thing. And I don't know, maybe the higher tier of the weapon, maybe the more mods that you could put on. Look right here. I just unlocked a Vanguard semi-auto pistol. Looks like a 1911. Uh, so you get that at rank or level 21. You unlock a uh, a regular semi pistol, and that would be right there. That that's goals. Once I got something like that, and maybe like this shoddy and this rifle, um, I'd I'd be wicked comfortable hitting POIs. Because with this rifle, you could take those long shots, especially if you get like a scope or something on it. It'd be wicked nice. Oh, so this is the wood armor. This is the next set of armor here. It's a uh, le leather. And then next would be more leather. Uh, so we just learned the medis medical table too. This allows you to craft uh, better bandages and burn ointment. And then we unlock gunpowder. Damn, how how advanced were those other guys that had the like the the pumps and stuff? 
I mean, this beta's been going on for a few days. So, I mean, I can understand, like, that they're they're quite advanced. But, man, they had, like, pumps and stuff. Like, they were probably farming oil and shit. I, uh, I think, uh, which girl said in the, in the chat that the max level in the beta right now is 40 though. So what we see here is probably limited to what people could actually achieve right here. Like the single pouch, small thermal lining, this cold resistance plus two heat resistance minus two can be placed in top wearing pants. So yeah, these are all clothing mods and stuff. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot guys and it's it's pretty now the talent system um these all require quite high level like bowman we could get uh bow draw speed increase oh look at these we see this is what we should have been putting points into I got the talent point book in the in the locker, but yeah, we could have been doing all this and it would have made us better. See, with a game like this, though, you, you would definitely need people because, it, you know, it probably does take a lot of skill points and stuff like that to, to like, focus on a certain build. So you're going to definitely need people in your group to specialize in certain things. Like, you're probably going to need somebody who specializes in, like, your vehicle builds um, and, and stuff like that because, yeah, I, I don't see you having enough points without, like, super, super grinding to be able to kind of be the jack of all trades. So you're definitely going to need people who specialize in your teams. Yeah, right here, like you see flying ace. So you can spec into these and you get eight. Um, so yeah, you'll need like pilots, ground vehicle, engineers, demolition, snipers. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, Humanity, Sam. Of, oh yeah, I'm playing Humanity for sure. I've I actually play tested Humanity uh, like a year and a half ago. It was like way back. I'm at, I'm friend I'm friends with the developers. Uh, yeah, they've been longtime friends of the channel. Uh, CV Dub and uh, Yoza, they're, they're here all the time. They're here all the time. Oh yeah, 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 those guys are cool. I'm super excited for Humanity for sure. Yeah, we'll be showcasing that, checking it out for sure. List uh, Humanity on on Steam right now. I, I'm pretty sure it uh, the wish list has been up for a little while. All right, guys. So we're gonna end this episode here. Um, what the, what the fuck? We have sent you guys another batch of items. Press U to claim. Diesel generator, coupler, lead ass. Oh, so that's why these guys are getting things. I think the devs are trying to test how items are working and the how items and shit are working. So they just sent me a chainsaw. Generators, uh, splitters, circuit breakers, turrets jackhammer uh okay okay i see what's going on yeah they're, so they're testing uh stuff on the surf so a lot of that stuff those guys have they probably got through the tests like this now I, I, this game definitely has a lot of promise definitely has a lot of promise um so let me know what you guys think in the comments um because when this does, like I said, goes live, live, we, we can definitely jump on and do something on the channel. So uh, make sure if you guys are interested, you go over and uh, wish list the game. And if you want to, there's like I said, there's a couple days left in the beta. I think like two days. Um, definitely go give it a shot.
go go uh, over to their Steam page and apply for the early access and uh, see if see if you could jump in and test it out. Uh, but guys, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Sorry these got split up into like two separate streams. Uh, as you guys know, I wanted to do it all in one, but uh, the the server restart and stuff like that messed me all up. So. All right, so thank you guys again. You all have a great rest of your night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.